I'm feeling a little awkward, I am nervous, <laughs> I'm a little scared, but I'm also really exciting that I am exciting, I am excited that I'm going to film again. I'm a little bit overwhelmed about the products that I have here in front of me, but we will we will do it. We will get through it. <laughs> if you think I am sounding stuffed, I'm still stuffed. <laughs> And I don't know if that will ever go away while I work in the kindergarten, but we will try. Let's see. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I have been absent for a little while and I thought one of the real videos coming back to my channel should be a project plan video. This started on April 15 and it is called 50 Shades of Green. It started a few years ago with Fifty Shades of Pink and then Purple last year and then this year is going to be green. There's something in me that is really regretting not joining in on the pink and the purple because I have a lot of those colors. But I managed to find some green where the product is not green. <laughs> and here I'm talking about eyeshadows. So, but half of the project, almost at least, is eyeshadow. So, yeah. This project is created by Jessica, Amanda and Cece and if you don't know those ladies, you should definitely check them out. They are monthly updates and it is starting April, April 15th of this year and until April, April 15th of next year. <coughs> I'm already out of breath. This is the time to pan all your green products with green packaging or something on them. For example, I have chosen a body butter where there are green leaves on them, but I've also chosen an entirely green product. So you can choose almost whatever you want and it will fit into the project. It just has to be 50 products. <laughs> I have chosen some products to finish, some products to hit pan on, or finish half of, or 20 uses, 50 uses, and stuff like that. Let's just begin, because I have a lot of products to talk about. I will not go in depth with the products, but if you want to know something about some of the items that I'm showing, please let me know down in the comments and I will get back to you. Let's start out with the skincare, shall we? On top of the list and the products that I thought about right away was these two products and this these are from Forever and they are called Elo Jojoba Shampoo and Conditioner and I'm almost done with these so they might be a gimme product but if you think about it there are 50 products in this project so there needs to be gimme products. So the shampoo I'm down to here. Yes, it is upside down because there's only this much left. So that will be done rather quickly, I hope. And the conditioner is not as far down, but I don't use as much of the conditioner as the shampoo because I don't have that long hair and I only use conditioner on the lower half of my hair. So it is down to here. Then I have another shampoo and conditioner from Garnier and it is the Fruct Fructis? Fructix? Plumping Watermelon Hair Food Conditioner and Shampoo. I really like these and they are for fine hair and I have really fine hair. Oh yeah and they're kind of the same place on the bottle where the mark is. So they are almost full. I have used them a handful of times. The next product is my Matas Avocado Shower Cream. It is like an in-shower body lotion. I have gotten this with a discount so I have never tried it before but I have tried something from Nivea Nivea but that is not cruelty free so I would like to try this and finish this because this is a huge bottle with 500 milliliters so it's a big one a herb and sea salt spray from Rounds Ball and I don't use sea salt spray that often anymore. I usually use it when I curl my hair, but I don't do that that often. Um, but yes, I am up to here with this one. So let's see how I am going to do with that one. If I don't finish all of my products, I'm happy. 
I just need to work on some of these. I've thought about that for a while. The next one is the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Facial Wash. I just bought this actually. And the same with the body butters. Um, but I just needed a new face wash. So I thought that was going to be perfect to put it in here because then I actually use it. No, I can't even see where it is. So I'm guessing up to the neck of the bottle. Then we have the Swarovskov Got To Be Dry Shampoo. I don't use dry shampoo anymore. A few years ago I swore for dry shampoo, but I don't anymore. I just don't use it. I don't care <laughs> anymore. Um, but Swarovskov is not quite free. I got this for free. Um, it is down to here. It's not the best one out there, but it's it's there. Then we have two body butters from the body shop. These are the two the no. I bought this a, a while ago, but I haven't owned it until now. A month before I wanted to do this project, I started working on it, or I used it a little bit. Um, this is the mango scent, and we have the pink grapefruit scent as well. I love these. I love them so much. I only use Body Body on my legs, um, because... They are the driest part of my body. Another body shop item is the Moring Moringa Moringa hand cream. And this is for, I have never used it before, maybe once to smell it. Another hand cream, I have had this for so long and I really want it gone this year. This is also a hand cream from Dalan de Olive. I don't know. It is a small hand cream. It is not that full. 20 milliliters, so it should be doable. And this hand cream is on 100 milliliters. But if you have watched my channel for a while and my prior projects, you know that I'm not that good about using hand cream. But at the moment, my hands are dry, so hopefully, I can go through some hand cream. Let's take this perfume. This is one I got from Sandra, one of my friends, and some of you may know her. She has a YouTube channel as well. Our daughters are the same age so we see each other <laughs> kind of frequently and chat every single day almost but she got me a bunch of products actually she got me was it the conditioner or the shampoo of this Garnier? I don't know but she also got, got me this because she didn't like it on her I have not developed an opinion on it Yet, Meli Natural Science Eau de Parfum. It's a perfume that reacts to your body scent and... Yeah, I don't know what you would call it. I'm going to see, but it's not that big, so I thought I could use it. This one, on the other hand, I'm not sure what it is, but it was a product with green on it, so I took it out and it is a sample, so... I'm going to see if I like it or not. Emollient Foaming Gel Anti-Scratching from Aderma, 25ml, so I thought it was a good little size to form an opinion. I think it's kind of a lotion. And then we have this Hemp Lip Balm from The Body Shop. And I have had this for a few years and I really need to use it up. I love it. I got it from one of my friends when I was sick, but it is almost done, so I don't need a lot to use it up. I have two things that left that are not makeup. Blotting papers, I got these from eBay a long time ago. I think they are working. I need to put them in my handbag again for when I'm wearing makeup and go outside, because I don't like to bring powders and a brush anymore, so let's see if... I can use these up because I don't do it. I don't touch up on my makeup that often. Um, but when I do, I want to control the oil on my forehead, I will use these. I don't know how many there are left. I have used maybe two. So there are a lot left in here. And then an untouched W7 Jelly Crush Lip Scrub. This is the last one. I had four at one point. But I know this is purple, but on the cap, there's some green leaves, so that is why it is in here. This nail polish may be a stretch, because I don't think it is entirely green, but it's not blue. It's like an emerald green, 
maybe an in between but I'm counting it because I needed a product <laughs> so this is the S Essence Shine Last and Go Gel Nail Polish I really like this and I have it in yellow as well like a curry yellow I really like it so but I've used it a few times only so I don't think it is very low so far all of the products here are products I want to finish this I'm going to finish half of the Moringa hand cream and then um, I will see if I'm going to finish half or the whole bottle of this perfume and then the nail polish I want to get halfway with this one as well so those are the skincare items oh no I forgot some there are a few bits in here as well of course can you believe it when I took the pictures for Instagram with this project and I thought okay I have everything then I I forgot three items that was on my makeup, ta makeup table that I use every single day so I have an extra picture for Instagram crazy but I remembered it here okay I have four products from forever that is a part of the Sonia line um, if you don't know most of you apparently don't know because I don't talk about it I am um, I do sell these forever products but I don't do it that actively so that is why I may have a few but yes they come in this bag and I thought it was really really nice um, and I really want to use these because that these are for normal combination skin I believe um, they are the refreshing gel cleanser so I have two cleansers I have a refining gel mask the illuminating gel so that is like a serum and then we have the soothing gel moisturizer so I thought I would try these out and use them at the same time because I am running out of some um, serums and stuff like that so I thought it would be a great way to use them all at once and they are green so they fit <laughs> in this project there are some of these products that I haven't marked on a paper because I have two like this and the lip balm for example I will do that afterwards for the makeup part I have the trended up all around the face stick in green I have the NYX retractable eyeliner in aqua green okay quite a bit oh my god and it is broken perfect I have the Fred Boy blush from the balm and as you can see it is green I have hit pen on this blush so my goal is to use this up apparently okay I don't know if I can do that um, this one I want to use half of it or at least try to make it work then I have a green container so I'm coming it in but also the foundation itself has some green on the white packaging like this highlight and powder um, but I have mixed two foundation in this so I want to use this up so I only have one foundation left in my collection <laughs> that would be nice I really want to hit pan on these two these are the W7 Very Vegan Highlighter and Bronzer and they are really pretty I have the bronzer and the highlighter on today this is the highlighter and if I don't know if you can see but there is a slightly big dip in the middle of this highlighter so maybe I can hit pan hopefully I have a year so that should be doable and the bronzer as well it has this beautiful heart in the middle of it I really really like it this is the body shop rose dewy glow face mist and I'm up to here so I really want to finish this off because I don't like it as much as the other one that I have from NYX let's take this single shadow that I have in a compact that I don't have departed in something else I actually got this from Sandra as well it is the City Color Shimmer Shadow in Beach Cottage so it's like a green shimmer I really want to hit pan on this one I recently departed and highlighter palette where this comes from so I, I think it's green yellow ish um, it is the W7 prismatic 3d 
highlighting palette. It is a dupe for the KVD, the triangle highlighting palette. I want to use this 50 times, so it matches the project name. Now we only have eyeshadows left to talk about, and let's start out with the singles that I have in this magnetic palette. All of them, besides two shadows, I want to use 20 times. So the first one that I want to hit side pan on is a shadow that has already pan, and this is the um, I forgot the name again. Colored rain. There it was. Colored rain side of olives shadow up here. I have pan, so I really want to hit side pan on this one. And these four are uh, Divina shadows. Uh, they were a part of the Angelica Newquist collab with them, and I love them. They are so pretty. I want to use these 20 times each, so there are four products here. <laughs> and I think it is doable because 20 times is not a lot, to be honest. And I have a full year, and if I work on a lot of green shadows and most of these each month, I can make my goals. And if I hit pan, great. The NYX Ultimate Brights palette. And the shadow that I want to put in is this green down here. And I have used it a lot. But with these shadows, they are so deep and you need a lot. They are very dense, packed in the pan. So yes, 20 uses for this one. And then we have the Beauty Bay EYN Bright Matte. And I also got this from Sandra. So she has sponsored a lot of these products, apparently. I have rolled in this shade down here, and it is like a bluish green. Then we have the Paulita palette from Blush Tribe. Blush Tribe is no longer here. And I have rolled in solely this beautiful green shimmer up here. They are very hard to hit pan on, so I'm excited to see how much it takes to hit pan, but at least 20 uses. And then we have the Nomad Cosmetics Tokyo palette. I have been in Tokyo, so that is why I dearly wanted this palette. I don't think I'm blinding you here. I have put in Mushi Mushi, this green shimmer here. It is like a duochrome, so it's kind of sheer on the eyes, so I thought that would be a great topper. And because it's kind of a duochrome, you don't see the green as much. <laughs> That's my strategy, at least. The BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette, and I have put in Neon, this neon lime green shade right here. I think it is a beautiful shade and I'm really excited to work on these shadows because I really want to rotate through my palettes this year. The Color Festival palette from PS Cosmetics and I'm sorry most of these are not available anymore. I have put in Haze and it is also a lime green shade but this one is matte. Then we are at Club Nebula palette from Kaleidos. It is also the Angelica Nyquist collab. If you couldn't tell, I really like Angelica. <laughs> I think she's so cool. Um, let's see. Celestial. Yes. I have put in this pa uh, shade right here. So this is a beautiful pink pink coppery shade that I thought would be an amazing shimmer for every day. And yes, I do wear these kind of colors to work. Because I work in a kindergarten now and not customer service. <laughs> and they like color, so I thought why not. Juvia's Place, the Nomad palette, I have put in shade number two, I believe. Yes, this yellow shade right here, it has some shimmer in it, so I'm excited to see if it shows up in the crease or if or something like that. Um, I don't think it will show up on the lid. I have the Juvia's The Tribe palette and I have put in color this orange shade down here. Like a coppery orange shade. It's a shimmer. So beautiful. And if you see the theme, the palettes has green on them, but inside I have chosen some shades that are not green. So that is also strategic for my hand. <coughs> um, but yes, the first palettes, they didn't have green on them, but then I chose something green inside. Then we have the Blush Tribe 
Pastel Tribe palette and I have chosen Tonya, this orange shade down here, or in the middle at least. I thought this shade would be a great match to all the green because I really like putting green and orange together. That's like my favorite combo. <laughs> so I thought it would be natural to put that in. The Hasina palette from Blush Tribe, and this is the one that I want to have pan on. I have put in Layla, and this is the gold yellow shade, and I have a huge dip in it, so I really want to have pan on this. And I do think I can do it because the dip is huge. <laughs> huge. And the last one, no, second to last, the Hasina 2 palette, and this was an obvious choice because it is half green, half blue and some purple in it as well. As you can see, it is kind of perfect for this project, but because I have a lot of greens that I'm working on and I don't wear green every single day, I have chosen something else because I also have some shades that could use some purple. So I have chosen a purple <laughs> and I have chosen Irish. This lavender purple kind of here. Yeah, pinky purple, I would say. But I really like the bad formula of this. The last palette we have here is the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. And I really wanted to work on these palettes again, but I didn't know if they had any green in it. But then I saw these two olive greens and I was like, that is perfect. Actually, Secretarius would be perfect, but I am working on something similar in some of the other palettes, so I chose Capricorn, but both the shimmer and the matte shadow. And again, these takes forever to hit pan on, so I thought 20 uses was enough. <laughs> then I just need to make a strategy about what I will work on first and how I'm going to work on it and use every single thing. I don't know what a goal would be for the first update to upload this video. <laughs> Again, this is my first kind of real video coming back. So I really like to hear what you want to see from me again. I obviously want to do pretty pants again. And I want to do empties and makeup looks and stuff like that. But would you also like to see some other hobbies of mine? I have changed my banner so it doesn't say <laughs> panning and beauty and lifestyle. Uh, so it just says all my favorite things because I really want to share what I like and right now I like makeup and skincare and clothing and another big passion of mine right now at least is yarn so I crochet a lot like a lot I work on three to four products at a time and when I finish something I start a new project <laughs> um, and I have loved seeing Pretty Peacock, what is your name? I don't remember, but Danny as well um, and Shaylan, they have participated in a project called Yarnathon and I love that. So I don't think I will do that, but I will do something else if you want to see some yarn content because I really, really love it and I want to show what I'm working on and my stash and stuff like that. What I was saying when the camera cut me off is that I don't want to do tutorials because I don't do my own patterns yet. <laughs> I really want to, but I don't see myself as that good yet. I'm talking myself down now and I don't want to do that. Please let me know what you want to see from me, what you liked seeing me doing video content wise uh, when I was here last time. Um, please let me know down below. I really want your help <laughs> because I'm rusty and I want to get back into it and I want to do something you like to see. Um, so yes, that is everything for this video and please like it and subscribe down below if you want to stick around. I really want to be consistent again and I hopefully, hopefully I can. Yes. Check out the fantastic ladies and Jessica, Amanda and Cece down below and I will see you guys next time.